Do whatever you want. Oh! Thank you! I wasn't talking to you. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking moments on The Boys Presents Diabolical. Boombox! Give me some violent montage music. For this list, we're looking at parts from this animated spin off anthology series that had our jaws on the floor. If you haven't seen Diabolical yet, there will be some super spoilers. Which episode was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Nubia and Nubian Kill Groundhog It's a show like The Boys Diabolical that really makes us ponder the existential questions in life. Like, if you're a washed-up Vought supervillain with giant hammers for hands, maybe you're preordained to be a tragic character. Baby, Daddy and Mommy are getting a divorce, and Gerald's buying you a pony. Nighty-night. Upon the revelation that her superhero parents are divorcing, Maya concocts a parent trap style ruse to rekindle their romance by enlisting their original foe, Groundhog. Wait, did we say enlisting? We mean blackmailing. <laughs> LeBron James, I guess. The plan works initially, as Nubia and Nubian remember how to work as a team, but it soon becomes clear they love the violence more than each other. Yes! <laughs> Seeing Groundhog's blood splash on Maya's face is all we need to know that her plan backfired. And before long, she's resolved to unparent trap them. Honey, are those our divorce papers? It'll be better for all of us. Number 9. Boyd's Head Explodes this one takes all the nuances of dating in today's social media landscape and applies them to the superhero world. <sighs> Thinking he needs to change himself to impress the girl he likes, Boyd participates in a Voight drug trial by using cream that allows him to change his physiology. He becomes a muscular man whereas his crush Cherry adopts cat-like features upon getting her paws on the stuff. Hi. Meow. Seems like we're the new hot thing. What's that mean? Let's find out. The two become quite the power couple, but their burgeoning narcissism is their undoing before they run out of cream and revert to their normal selves. The episode looks like it'll end sweetly with Boyd and Cherry reuniting having learned a lesson, but the side effects deteriorate Boyd's visage before his head pops like a geyser. I see you, Boyd Dune. Mr. Dune? Boyd? Number 8. Great White Wonder Crashes And now, let the Great White Wonder soar! <sighs> Papa needs a new pair of shoes! Some of the moments from Diabolical we could see coming from a mile away, and yet they still managed to shock us with how gory they were. Billy Butcher, back to his old tricks, tracks down the Seven's personal drug dealer and blackmails him into spiking Great White Wonder's fix. Great White Wonder, already a pretty unhinged guy, absolutely cannot keep his cool during a public demonstration of his abilities. Each time he hits a new mock speed, we cringe at how much damage he'll cause. Until sure enough, he tears through the metallic iron cast in a horrific display of blood and viscera. <laughs> The funniest moment, however, comes when the other members of the Seven so easily spin the narrative to fool the crowd. Hidden in the light of the sun! Crow War Satellite! I see it! I see the shit! Where? There! Look right in the sun! What? Number 7. Sun He's Powers Manifest Written by Andy Samberg, John and Sun He is surprisingly the least comedic of the episodes. Though that's not to say it's without its left turns. <clears throat> uh, what are you doing there, Johnny? Okay, very funny, man. <laughs> With his wife Sun He dying of cancer, John desperately tries to save her. He infiltrates Vought and administers her a stolen serum, but instead of powering up Sun He, the serum makes a literal monster out of the cancer. Oh. 
quickly, what started out as a one-off in a superhero universe becomes a potent allegory for love and disease. But just when all hope seems lost, Sun Hee reveals powers of her own, going off to stop her cancer after giving her husband a final goodbye. Sheesh, we didn't expect Diabolical to make us cry so much. Number 6. Zoo Madness <laughs> Animated like an old-school kids cartoon, the first episode of Diabolical set the tone for all the mayhem that's to come. Vought employee Simon tries to track down an adorable baby with deadly laser vision. We'll get to more of that later, but a standout sequence sees the action wander into a zoo for some animalistic carnage. First, we watch in horror as Simon's horse escapes an alligator pit, only to immediately meet its doom in a piranha tank. Then, when Laser Baby finds herself in the gorilla enclosure, one of the hairy beasts makes pulp out of some Vought agents. <laughs> By the way, kudos to anyone who caught animated versions of episode writers Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg at the end of the sequence. Number 5. Homelander's First Mission The majority of Diabolical exists parallel to the boys' continuity, but the final episode deals with major characters directly. We all know Homelander to be easily the most despicable character on the show, but this origin of sorts shows he at least started with good intentions. I'm sorry, but you'll need to stay here until the authorities uh, ow, arrive. Ow! I can't breathe! You'll be fine. You wrapped a metal pipe around my chest! What the hell is wrong with you? Set up to handle a hostage situation at a chemical plant, Homelander refuses to wait for backup and instead takes the lead on his first mission. Needless to say, it doesn't go well as Homelander continually misreads the situation and underestimates his own strength. You know, friend, it's hard to hold a gun when it's 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, you idiot! It looks ah! Countless lives are needlessly lost as we get our first glimpse of how greatly Homelander's powers corrupted his judgment. Those poor hostages. They were the real heroes. Number 4. Sky Creates Areola that might sound like a weird entry title, but if you've seen the episode, you know what we're talking about. Written by and starring Aquafina, BFFS sees her character Sky peer pressured into buying and taking drugs. Only one of the drugs she finds herself in possession of is Compound V. <clears throat> oh man, I, re I really hope that wasn't meth. You might be thinking to yourself, what cool superpower is Sky gonna get? Flight? Invisibility? Telekinesis? Well, much like Sun He's character, we're initially led to believe that Compound V gave sentience to a specific part of her body. In this case, a piece of poop. It's like we're connected. Oh, and in case you're still wondering about the entry title, the poop gives herself a very unique name. My mom's name was Georgia, and uh... I, I always love that name. It makes me think of her when I hear it. Wow. But would it be okay if I name myself Ariola instead of Georgia? Because I feel like Georgia, I, I just like it sounds like shit. Yeah, it's a wild episode. Number three, pissed off soups kill their parents. Exhibit A, Mo Slow. Probably pisses pants before he ever reaches the bathroom. Then there's Boombox. He's got a speaker for a face, but all he can play is Only Want to Be With You by Hootie and the Blowfish. With an episode title like an animated short where pissed off soups kill their parents, it doesn't leave much to the imagination as to what's gonna unfold. However, leave it to Rick and Morty creator Justin Roiland to write an endlessly shocking episode. That's right, my name is Papers. I, I wasn't introduced in the beginning, but because they think maybe I'm not that important, but I can locate any papers anywhere, and I'm pretty good. After some abandoned, superpowered youths learn of their parents' involvement with Vought, they resolve to use their supposedly lame powers to commit parasite in the weirdest ways. What? I thought we got rid of you! Set to Only Wanna Be With You by Hootie and the Blowfish, the montage features some crazy kills, from a giant sentient tongue constricting people to a guy teabagging his dad to death. But our favorite might be Mo Slow strangling his dad in, well, slow-mo. Now you're strangling me. Oh boy, well, this is really 
unbelievable. Oi, how much longer you reckon it's gonna take? It's not the time to Why did I ask you? Number two, Laser Baby decimates people. We told you we'd be coming back to this one. <laughs> While the episode starts out sweet with the genuinely loving Simon trying to save failed experiment Laser Baby from being terminated by Vought, things take a turn for the grisly when Laser Baby sneezing causes her to accidentally eviscerate bad guys. The bloodiness wrapped up in such an adorable package almost makes the proceedings resemble an episode of Happy Tree Friends, and we are totally here for it. <laughs> The episode saves the best for the final confrontation, though, when Laser Baby cuts through Superbrain's bulbous head. <laughs> this episode retains all the violence of a Looney Tunes cartoon, but with all the logical implications. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sky Discovers Her Power Surprisingly, the most shocking moment from Diabolical comes not from a bloody moment, but from a scatological one. Going back to Sky and Areola the Poop, I cannot believe we just said that. The latter gets captured by the Deep and brought to Vought, unwilling to give up a friend. Skye breaks in and rescues her, but has to flush her down the toilet to avoid recapture. Oh my god! Oh, I'm sorry, sir, I was just here taking a shit. Skye finds Ariola down in the sewer, but the two are again confronted by the Deep. It's then that Ariola's able to convince Skye she does have powers, at which point Skye summons a whole legion of poo. Rise up, my turn friend! Just when we think the show can't get any weirder, the beautifully batty mind of Aquafina finds a way. Right on time to get beat. Oh, we'll see about that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.